One of the reasons it's worth waiting for the upcoming INAV 7 is the multi-rotor cruise mode. But dear FPV professor, what is the multi-rotor cruise mode you might ask? And the answer is quite simple, it's the cruise mode for multi-rotors. The most important feature of the cruise mode is that you can let go the sticks, both left and right, and the multi-rotor will just fly forward in the direction where you pointed it with the predefined find speed. So just point it somewhere, set the speed and let the INAV do the magic. The speed, direction and the altitude are fully controlled by INAV. If you do not want to change the altitude, speed or the heading, you can just put the radio down. And that's all. Super convenient if you are flying long range or doing some special missions, but we do not talk about that. Shh. Both setup and the usage of the multi-rotor cruise mode is super simple. However, you have to have INAV7 flashed on your quad. And that's a problem because INAV7 is not here public. Of course, if you are watching this video after INAV7 was released, just flash INAV7, use it and you will be golden. If you are watching this video before INAV7 is out, there are links in the description of the video that will allow you you to get the firmware and the configurator that has the function built in. And then your multi-rotor has to be capable of position hold and return to home. That means it has to have GPS, magnetometer and barometer. Also in the description of this video there is a link to the video that explains step by step on what you have to do to have your multi-rotor capable of position hold and return to home. And then all you have to do is go to the the mode tab and assign one of the switches to enable the cruise and the altitude hold modes together. Absolutely any switch will do. I'm using this one for example. And then when flying just flip the switch and engage the cruise mode. First of all you might notice that the INAV NAV engine took over and there is a pretty good chance that you are already flying forward with the predefined speed. Which speed? If you have the system messages OSD elements, you will exactly know the speed we are talking about. Because it's the speed that INAV was registering before you enabled the cruise mode. And now the functions on your radio have slightly changed. Because the left stick, the throttle stick, is like always controlling the altitude. So throttle up means that you will gain altitude. Throttle down will mean that you will lose altitude and throttle in the middle means that, well, you are holding the current altitude. The right stick, the one that usually controls pitch and roll, is no longer controlling pitch or roll. Because right now the pitch up and down is controlling speed, while the roll left or right is controlling the heading. If you want to turn left, just move the roll stick to the left. If you want to turn right, just turn the roll stick to the right. And then when you want to fly forward, just move the pitch stick forward until the system messages OSD element will point to the speed that you, well, want to hold and then release it. INAV will hold the speed that you set while moving the stick forward. And when you release the sticks, it just continues to fly. If you want to slow down, move the pitch stick back until the speed decreases to the new speed you want your multi-rotor drone to hold. And if you will hold the stick down long enough, it will ultimately go to the speed zero and the cruise mode will turn into regular position hold. Then you can still turn or accelerate by one more time moving the stick forward and releasing it. Disengaging the cruise mode is of course also super simple. You just have to unflip the switch that activated it. And your multi-rotor will go into the flight mode that is set by the current position of your switches. That's it. Super simple and super useful if you have the case when multi-rotor cruise is something that might make your life slightly simpler. INAV7 will be just fantastic. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!